So we have left the jungle and we're at the family cottage. It's been in my husband's family since 1910 and it's one of our happy places. It's a little chilly here today, but it's a beautiful day on the lake and on the river. I thought I'd share it with everybody. And, um, and since it is Pride Month, getting ready to do the, my Pride video. Are you ready for Pride Month, honey? Is it that time already? I didn't notice. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Happy Pride Month. Um, so I'm very excited to do this pour and be in this collaboration with so many fantastic artists. Uh, so June, Sunday, June 5th and Sunday, June 19th, uh, we have a whole bunch of artists who are all doing uh, Pride-themed pours. Uh, the uh, the theme of the collaboration is we are family because we are all one big family um, and so I've got the uh, the pride colors here I've got green I've got a blue I have violet I have red I have orange and I have yellow I will list the exact uh, brands and colors in the description box but I only have 12 or 13 minutes, so just to save some time, I'm going to um, go ahead and start layering a cup. I am doing a waterfall pour today, so I will be putting down a base coat of this lovely turquoise color um, and then propping it up uh, after I've layered my uh, cup and pouring it on here so that it flows down this way. Um, so that is the plan. So uh, strap yourselves in. Here we go. We're gonna start with a little bit of white in the bottom. And I am gonna use quite a bit of white um, in between each of these colors because I don't want them to blend. I want them to maintain some of their um, intense color intensity. Um, and the colors always look great when they blend with white. So hopefully we get a um, since there's white on either side of each of the colors, you get a little bit of uh, color variation, but you still get violet and you still get blue. With this red, we might get a little bit of pink, but pink is great too. Okay, one more layer and we should be good. This is a 16 by 20 inch canvas. So we need uh, at least 12 ounces of paint. Um, I may use a little more than that, uh, just so I have options on the composition. I'm running out of white. Maybe I've put a little too much in. Might have to scrape that cup. A little bit of orange. My paints are mixed fairly thick. I will show you what that looks like in just a moment. I want um, I want some really clear, defined lines in this waterfall pour. That should be good. End it with the yellow. So this is a 16 ounce cup. I filled it close to the top, so um, there's probably at least 15 ounces of paint in there. And I will use, now uh, let's use the blue to show you the consistency. So it leaves a mound on a mound on a mound. Very, very thick. I've actually mixed this with Floetrol and uh, Liquitex Gloss Medium, uh, the one with the uh, bright green label, um, and a little bit of PVA glue. Uh, so that it's really nice and thick and it's uh, mixed five parts pouring medium to one part paint okay. 
Put this over here. And then let's put some base coat down. Uh, this base coat is a mix of um, turquoise and um, DecoArt Dazzling Metallics Teal. So there is uh, a bit of a metallic shine and shimmer to it. That should be enough. Very cool. It's done exactly what I was hoping it would do. Love it. Get rid of some of those air bubbles before we tilt it out. sure oh yeah we're still on camera in focus okay so I really like what's happening here very interesting really pretty lines so um, I'm going to anchor this side here we're going to tilt back and forth this direction so here we go we'll get rid of some of this messy bit on this end a little bit of a cleaner edge right about there come back to the center then we're going to walk it down both directions and then we'll come off that end over here We're going to end up with some bikini corners, but I'm okay with that. It'll add an extra little bit of motion. And we'll come down off of this corner. There we go. Right. 
blew you up to outer space Wasn't that a good day? Red guitar, purple haze Stick love in the ball was all you needed How are you doing? Sing me back, mama Sing me back Cause I'd give it all So here is the overhead view of the rainbow waterfall pour. I think it's pretty cool. The, the colors got a little bit softer than I was expecting, but it's still pretty vibrant. And um, I like that you can see every color of the rainbow. And I'll take you in for some details. In this area over here, we did get a little bit of mud in that corner. But with rainbow colors, man, it's almost impossible not to. <laughs> it's so, uh, some of these colors just do not play well together. But we got some really interesting cells or some really great transparency in this area over here. I was a little nervous. Sometimes green takes over, but it did not in this pour. I'm very happy about that. And yeah, some nice big boulder cells happening in here. And I'm getting some pearl cells from that turquoise base um, over, especially over in this corner over here. Look at that, very cool. See how close I can get and still stay in focus. Will it focus? It doesn't want to. Oh, there we go, that's better. Yeah, I love these fingerlings right here too, look at that. Green to yellow to orange to violet and red. I like it. Nice big vibrant green section here then back into the fingerlings look at all those layers of lines that's one of the things i love about a waterfall pour all the fingerlings and lines that you get so i hope you enjoy it thank you very much for watching happy pride <laughs> and if you enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you'd like to see more and come back and see me sometime <laughs>